So are you interested in knowing or determining on if you have moderate periodontitis? Well, my name is Michelle and I'm a dental assistant with Solutions and I'm going to help you determine on if you have moderate periodontitis. By taking a look at this chart, you can um, actually see this picture here that we're looking at. Um, one of the main uh, causes for moderate periodontitis is not continuously brushing and flossing your teeth. So um, with that effect, you, if you're not continuously brushing and flossing your teeth, you'll actually start to see what we call is um, an abscess, gum abscess may develop. And what that is, it's an infection of the gum. And what happens is that the teeth may look um, longer as the gum starts to recede. So if you initially have you know, short teeth, um, and then you develop moderate periodontitis, your teeth might actually start to look elongated because your gum is actually starting to recede. It's pulling away from the tooth because it really wants to get away from that bacteria and the decay that's in that area. Also, too, your front teeth may begin to drift slowly, meaning it might, they might start moving back and forth. Um, that's because due to you have a lot of bone loss. Um, what happens when you have moderate periodontitis is your gums will start to recede and when they're receding it, it's allowing more bacteria and debris to get up underneath your gums which is going to start eating away at your bones. So as you can kind of see here from the above picture the bone level is a lot is much higher than the, than the lower picture. This is meaning once when moderate periodontitis starts to become um, in, in severe cases, you'll actually get a lot of bone loss and your teeth become mobile. They start to drift. So another um, a side, side effect of moderate periodontitis is extreme bad breath. Um, and then your pockets on, on your gums, where they measure the pocketing of your gum, it becomes four to six millimeters deep. So that's also a reflection of bone loss and gum inflammation. But you would definitely, need, if you have this case here, then you would definitely need to see your general dentist. It's very important to see him, so therefore he would be able to give a correct diagnosis and maybe prescribe a, a type of treatment that will help in aiding you in getting rid of your moderate periodontitis. But once again, my name is Michelle, and I'm a dental assistant with Solutions, and I just explained to you on how you can kind of determine on if you have moderate periodontitis.